This video will discuss the use of the CRUST DSA-10 Mark II. The DSA has four main components. These are the camera, the stage, the syringe control mechanism, and the backlight. Also in the enclosure are instruments for measuring the humidity and temperature, as these may have an effect on results. The first step in making a measurement is to turn on the power to the control unit and the backlight. Next, we draw up a syringe of the fluid in question. Here we're using deionized water. The syringe is then inserted into the holder. Since this is a relatively small syringe, we secure it using an elastic band. The horizontal and vertical position of the syringe can be adjusted using these dials. We can check it's in the right position by observing the video output window. Also here we can see the syringe control panel. Using the syringe control panel, we slowly depress the syringe until a small drop of liquid is forced out of the end. This can be viewed on the video window. Now we tighten the retention screw. Here, the surface we're using is polypropylene dissolved in xylene. We place the sample on the stage and raise it to the appropriate height. We can now begin to make the deposition. Once the droplet is in contact with the surface, we begin to slowly withdraw the syringe to minimise splashing. These dials on the camera control the zoom level and focus. We make adjustments to these to get the best image possible. The effect can be seen here. When the image is properly adjusted, we can take a snapshot using the software. This can then automatically determine the contact angle and displays the left, right and average angles. In some cases, we may wish to observe the change in contact angle over time, such as in this clip. We can set the software to record a video and then determine the contact angle in each sequential frame. When the measurement is complete, we wind the stage down and raise the syringe out of the way. The sample can then be removed from the stage. Removing the rubber band and undoing the retention screw allows us to remove the syringe. Finally, we wipe down the stage and turn off the power to the backlight and the syringe control unit.